already, already. I know, I know, I know. I know y'all can wait. Sick. So I'm back with a little Q and A, just a little short video, cause a lot of y'all want to be a little updated on my life. So y'all just wanted to ask me a few questions. Um. So I wrote them down, cause you know me, I gotta write my stuff down. Gotta write my stuff down. But before we get started, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel, and make sure you follow me on Instagram. And add me on Snapchat and follow me on Twitter. Alright, so let's get into it. So, question number one. When did you first think about YouTube? Okay, so I've always thought about doing YouTube. I've always... Y'all, my voice be going in and out. Like, I be sounding like a whole man. Like, <laughs> swear I'm a girl, y'all. Anyways, I first thought about YouTube... Like, I thought about it. I was like, no, because I never really had confidence that, like, people would want to see me. I wanted to do YouTube because I wanted to entertain you guys. Because, like, that's the same reason why I watch YouTube. I watch YouTube more than I watch anything. I watch all the pranks. I watch a lot of people, like, such as Damian Bianca. I, I love their channel. I watch Ashley Deshaun and um, Chelsea Nicole. I watch Jazz and Tay. I mean, I'm pretty sure all y'all are familiar with those type of people. And I also watch Bounty Hunter D and Patty Mayo. I know y'all know some of y'all know about that. And if you don't, you need to check out Bounty Hunter D and Patty Mayo because their channel is lit. So, anyways. But I was, like, never really confident on doing it. But I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do it because that's what I want to do. I want to entertain. And, I mean, I'm entertaining somebody. So, hey. It is what it is. I'm doing it for fun, and I'm doing it because I want to do it, and I want to entertain people. So, that's when I first thought about it. I think it was, like, months ago, months ago. But I actually just started doing it, like, two or three months ago. So, yeah. So, question two says, how old were you when you had your first kiss? I don't know. <laughs> I think I was... I think I was like 14. Yeah, I was 14. I was 14. I was 14 when I had my first kiss. What's your dream goal? Um, My dream goal is to become a doctor. Y'all, y'all know I was in nursing school. Technically, I'm still in nursing school. I had to take a break and then I got a little lazy, which is bad. Don't ever do what I do what I did because don't ever take a break from school because when you take a break from school you're not going to want to get back but I'm going to go back because I have a meeting Tuesday to make sure I go back to school because that's a number one priority in my life is to become somebody and be somebody and I want to be a nurse and yes my dream goal is to become a doctor and if you want to be a doctor you got to put work into it if you want to be a nurse you got to put work into it so I can't be lazy I can't I went seven months straight into school and I don't know what happened. I just got, like, depressed and feeling like I couldn't do it anymore. But, no. I can do it. I'm going to be somebody. Period. But, look. You know what? Benefit, though. I got my nails done. No one, if you know you're in nursing school, <laughs> can't have your nails at all. So, it's a little benefit. got my nails done. Finally. Um... Question four is, if there was anything you could change in your life, what would it be? Um, I think I would change, I think, like, personally, I would go back and change, like, the friends that I picked. Because I feel like in the past, I've picked only one good friend out of, like, a, hundreds of friends. I picked one really good one that's still here to this day. Even though we don't talk that much, she's still here. So I feel like I would change how I pick people. And maybe if I picked more of the positive people and handle situations better, my life would be a little bit different. So that's what I would change about my life. It's like going back in the past because the going back in the past would change kind of like my future. So are you single and what type of guys do you like am i single really 
No, I am not single. I am not single. No, 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 no. I am not single. And I'm gonna, I'm like, why are you gonna ask me this? Because I know you watch my channel and I know you saw me do my prank on my, my boyfriend. So, no, I am not single. Not single. And what type of guy do you like? My boyfriend. I like my boyfriend. I love my boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, um, question six is, how, I'm only gonna do, okay, I'm, I'm only gonna do a couple of these, okay, so I'm gonna let you know now. Okay, so six, question six is, how long have you and your boyfriend been together? In February, it'll be two years. Two years with my difficult but, because I'm not easy. I'm not easy. I'm difficult. I got attitude problem. Yeah. Question seven. Who is someone you look up to? I f look up to my friend Chanel. Um, and the reason I look up to her is because her life is like perfect. And she's like perfect. She's like a really good friend, and she's the kind of person you, I would want. If I had to give my kids any, to anyone, which I ain't never give my kids to nobody, but if I had to have someone look over my kids, I would have her look over my kids because I know that my kids would be in the best type of care because of the person that she is. So that's the kind of person I look up to, and her name was Chanel. Number eight, when are you going to make another video with Liz? Y'all, I don't know. I don't know when we're going to make another video because she has two jobs. She's a manager at one job and she works at another job. She just got the manager position, so she's got to be there. She can't call out. She can't do nothing. She got to be there. So I'm proud of my girl. I want to see her succeed. She she busting her butt because she's trying to get to where she need to be. So, she's always busy. And then with my new job, I'm always busy. So, hey, I have no idea when we're going to make another video. Nine, when's you and your boyfriend's anniversary? February 8th. February 8th. Imprint it in your head. February 8th. Got it? Oh, I didn't even read the rest. Of, <laughs> I didn't read the rest of the question. It says, "When, when's you and your boyfriend's anniversary?" And oh, y'all, I was writing fast, so sorry. And what do you have planned for it? Now, why? What I tell you? Because if I tell you in the video, he's gonna know. So I can't tell you. You're just gonna have to stay tuned because trust and believe, I'm gonna vlog the whole day the whole day trust and believe trust and believe okay 10 what made you fall in love y'all what made you fall in love with your boyfriend okay listen <laughs> so i'm just gonna tell you a little back story so me and my boyfriend started dating and all that. I'm going to tell you the first time I knew that I was in love with him. And that was when I went through this really, really, really hard time. Where I didn't have any parents. I didn't have, like, personal. Like, I went through a whole living, bad, bad living situation. And he picked me up from that. And he made me feel like I had somebody that I wasn't alone. So that's when I was like, I fell in love because I fell in love with someone be with him because I never had a person care for me at that moment in time so much. So that's when I first realized like, yeah, I'm falling in love with this person because he at that time was treating me so well 
and it made me feel protected. He made me feel protected from the world. He made me feel like, y'all, I was a tear up. Hold on. He made me feel like, he made me feel like a princess at the time. It was that moment, and I imprint that moment in my head because that was the worst time I feel like I've ever been through is not having my parents, not having my brother, not having anyone. But he did what he had to do, I feel like, at that moment. And, yeah. So that's when I feel like I first fell in love with him. Now, why I'm still in love with him is because my boyfriend does the funniest things. Like, the funniest things. It's so funny, I can't tell y'all because y'all gonna be like, no, it's not funny. It's funny. And it's funny to me because we're comfortable enough to do weird things together. Comfortable enough to go through anything together. My boyfriend has an amazing personality at times. Yes, my boyfriend is difficult. Very difficult. But I'm difficult too, so yeah, he's very funny. He's amazing. He can be loving at times, but I feel like men go through their phases where they just have attitudes like we do, so I don't know. But yes, that's the first time I, I fell in love with my boyfriend and the reasons why I'm still in love with my boyfriend and yeah. Okay, 11. What's the hardest part of nursing school? Going. The hardest part is going. I tell, tell you, going. Getting there. Sitting in the classroom. It's hard. It's depressing. Okay, so the hardest part of nursing, I say, is actually the medical terminology that you have to learn and pharmacology. I feel like those two so far are the hardest because pharmacology, pharmacology was hard to me because I finally got down beta one and beta two and then when it hit me with the alpha and alpha two and al generic drugs and uh, what was it anticoagulant drugs? I don't know the rest. I lost it. They lost me. They lost me. They did. So, yeah. So, I say the hardest part is, I thought it was dosage, but dosage calculations, piece of cake. So, what's your favorite song? I don't know what my favorite song is because I have a whole bunch of favorite songs right now that I won't stop playing. And I know my boyfriend's tired of hearing the same songs, but honestly, if you don't want to hear it, you can close your ears. But, um, I don't know. I keep playing that Chris, Sound, Chris Brown, like, feature and I think, Gunna. Heat. That song is just, like, in my head. I don't know if it's the beat or what it is. And then, um, Good Morning Text by Queen Naja. Um, see, I have too many. I can't really tell you just one. So, I got, um... See, I have so many going through my head right now. Yeah, I'm going to say those two right now. Okay. But, anything with Megan Thee Stallion in it, all-time favorite. I figured it out. All-time favorite. Okay. What's your breakup playlist? Oh. Okay. So, anything by Anne Marie anything by I think her name's Santa yep anything by her sorry it's be a heartbreaking song you know anything by Queen Naja I think whatever yeah anything by them or Tony Ramitti but she need to come out with some new music for real for real alright look this is gonna be I'm, last question last question I'm, I'm answering Psych. No, that question's dumb. <laughs> that question's dumb. Well, 
thank you for watching and make sure you like comment and subscribe and if you want another q a and then you want to know anything about me all you got to do is send it to me in a snapchat because i mean that's where i get most of y'all's stuff is from snapchat so hey you can message me on any social medium though yeah it is what it is bye